Hey guys, Rob out here and I am always in hotwater.com and good morning. Uh, it's very early in the morning. Actually, sun just came up a little while ago and uh, here I go again. I got something really, really special out here for you guys uh, and we all know this one's going to go quick. We don't need to um, hem and haw about that. Uh, you know, this isn't really a tough sell for me. And um, I'll give you uh, everything basically I can, um, best on point. First and foremost, we have a 2008 Scout 187 Sportfish center console. Uh, I'm going to call it a possibly uh, Carolina blue hull or, uh, you know, in the lighter blue. And, um, you know, still in excellent condition and really not showing any kind of uh, fading or deterioration. In fact, the only complaint I have on the exterior part of the hull is maybe you got a little bit of decal uh, fading and, um, you know, chipping there. But it's a 2008 boat. I'm going to walk around the real quick and give you the ins and outs, um, plain and simple. Uh, first of all, she's on a, uh, a Wesco trailer that's in decent shape. Um, you know, it's a 2008 trailer, uh, but it looks pretty well kept up. So she would be in the condition that you would expect. We also have a readable VIN, so um, we're good there. And uh, as we walk through, you guys can see right here on the decal, you got a little bit of a rub out, but really there's nothing here. As you guys know, I like to look through the boats um, that uh, uh, you're gonna walk up and be offended by uh, at all. So uh, unless I miss something, which is always a possibility, this uh, low hours, I think we're, I'll double check when I get up there, 260, 85, somewhere right around there, uh, under 300 hours. And I just want you to know, this uh, client was referred to me by Chris Carolina Marine and Machine, who is one of the top mechanics um, in the area uh, that does a lot of work on a lot of vessels. And uh, he has done all of the service on this vessel and maintained it and kept it up. You are, uh, as of this moment, we know it's about 100% turnkey ready on every switch, every function on this vessel. Okay, so, um, you know, obviously we'll see trial in the contract and review that, um, but outside of, uh, you know, something failing minor, um, you are about as good to go as you're gonna get on this, uh, plain and simple, and she really doesn't even need a detail. The seller didn't want me to list it until he put a little more on-off on the bottom, um, but uh, I, I insisted that this get listed and put up immediately. Uh, Yamaha F-115, uh, prop is clean. I also just noticed we got brand new anodes, um, so service is taking place. Um, generally, um, the seller said that he brings the boat in about every six months to be checked over by Chris, who's actually a couple of blocks over. Now, I do want to note, uh, doing that uh, he does a lot of fishing in 12 inches of water and pulling in some big ones. You got a little bit of mark on the cowling there See that and right here. So uh, but that's minor beans and it's expected in the war uh, on the water Minn Kota Talon uh, loaded up So uh, also as you guys can see the speakers and the stereo system that is actually a Kenwood Sirius and Bluetooth uh, working VHF, uh, newer uh, Echo Map DV that looks to be, I think, a five or seven inch screen. And um, you are about as sweet as you're going to get as far as that goes. And what I'm going to do is just pop on. I got to get my shoes off. I don't want to get the boat dirty. Uh, if you see any initial pictures, uh, there's a boat cover, uh, uh, custom boat cover that completely covers the vessel that's going to come with it. And uh, let me just get to one other point real quick. These, uh, these are brand new cushions uh, done by William Bennett. And they were done within the last year, uh, if not sooner. And you have a full set of redone upholstery on the vessel. Now, I want to make note. You guys are just kind of taking a look. I'll try. Anchor hatch with anchor. Plenty of storage. Right here. And I'm going to pop up on this cushion. This is a Yeti cooler. The Yeti cooler is not going in the sale, don't even ask. Um, it is going on his next boat. The reason for sale is simply the seller is upgrading to a 24. Okay. The cushion 
for the Yeti cooler that was custom made for it will stay with the boat. Okay, so if you want to get your own Yeti, you already have the cushion made for. And in addition, we have the cooler for this that came stock from Scout um, with the original cushion, which isn't in the best of shape. So that cushion you might want to get redone, but he didn't get it redone because he got the Yeti cooler and got that made for. So as long as we got that out of the way, one other point of note, there is a lien on this vessel with the USAA. And as always, uh, it's about a 10 day turnaround on titles. You will leave with operating bill of sale. And uh, I will personally follow up with titles. Usually it takes a few days for the bank to do the payoff. And then within 10 business days, uh, I get titles in hand. I will get with the seller, get them endorsed and get them out to you notarized. So uh, no issues there. Uh, standard protocol as probably a third of the boats I sell have liens on them. Echo map. DV, Kenwood Stereo, Unit Insulara DSC, you guys see the speakers, I, I don't even know what to say about that, I don't even listen to a radio on the boat, hey buddy, you helping out, oh there's two of you, okay well we're good, thank you, uh, 285 hours, okay, um, and as far as the rest on the interior deck, everything's clean, uh, you know this scout is like a cement block so no worries there you got plenty of storage over here and as we move back let's just take a quick look your live well which I assume to be the live well I think no nope, that actually looks like a cooler box I don't know if this model this 180c does come with a live well or not that looks like a cooler so we're gonna call no live well unless I'm wrong I know up to the 21 there was a live well. I don't know if they did it in the 187, but you know, neither here nor there. Perco, and something I do want to show you. Uh, batteries look to be fresh, but dirty. And let's take a quick look in the bilge area. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah. So if you want to know about condition of vessels, take a look in the bilge area. Um, the sieve's kept up. I mean, those cables look like they are brand new. Uh, that rule mate looks new. Um, yeah, everything looks... <laughs> you're about as clean as you're going to get in there. Uh, this is a meticulous um, seller. Takes care of his stuff. And in speaking to my mechanic, um, he actually let me know he's extremely obsessive compulsive. Quick note, this does not have Sea Star steering. This is cable steering. So, um, some models came with it as an upgrade, some didn't, this one doesn't, uh, but for most of you that uh, are out on the water on that anyway, um, it really isn't an issue. I'm driving around with a couple of boats with Teleflex steering, so uh, your cable steering is kind of a little bit of an upgrade. Anyway, as we walk through one last time, as you guys can see, she's a beauty, she's going to go quick, the price is up, it's stated, it's firm. A deposit holds the boat to get to sea trial, and uh, we can close on that same day. So Rob at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com, wishing you guys a great and safe boating day.